Hey, it's Christy, and there are so many credit myths out there. I want to bust some credit myths. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. There is so much misinformation out there around credit and credit cards, your credit scores, all of those things. So let's dive in. Let's talk about some of those myths and um, bust some of them, shall we? A lot of people think that if you check your credit score often, that it can hurt your credit score. And it's partially true. It just depends on who's checking it and for what purpose. So if you're checking your own credit card, say through Credit Karma, uh, Equifax, something along those lines, a lot of um, our banks now offer the ability to uh, inquire and look at your credit score. Uh, that is a soft inquiry and it's not going to hurt your score. It's not even going to show up anywhere. You're allowed to look at your own credit and monitor it. It's a hard inquiry, which is what happens when you're applying for debt that can hurt your credit score. And it's in excess. So if you're just um, going to get a car loan or just going to uh, start a mortgage loan, just that one inquiry is not gonna hurt you. It's actually what you've been working towards with your credit scores. Uh, so that's when credit matters is when you are applying for debt. So just that simply that one hard inquiry for uh, credit uh, isn't going to uh, have that big of an impact. You look like a credit risk when you go and apply for a mortgage and now you go car shopping and you've just gone and opened up a credit card. It's all different types of credit and now you look like a risk. So that's where it's gonna hurt you. I've also heard that a great credit score means you're rich. That is not the truth. <laughs> Do you know that your income is not reported anywhere on your credit report at all? Uh, your credit score is a compilation, this algorithm, based on your ability to borrow money and pay it back on time. So your payment history is a huge chunk of what makes up your credit score. Also, uh, that depth or how long of a credit history that you have had. So a great credit score means that you do a great job with borrowing money and paying it back on time, not being in excess of what your limits are for you and that you have a really great payment history. Does not indicate that you're rich. Another myth is if you get married, your two credit reports will merge together and that's not fully the truth. So when you are a married couple, you can now uh, have both of your credit reports uh, on one report. It's called a joint credit report, but it's still you know, one person's and one person's is just on the same report, but it doesn't actually merge your credit lines together. Uh, it actually indicates a borrower or co-borrower, whoever was entered first, um, and that's their trade line. So let's say the spouses have an account together, it's actually gonna show up as joint. But um, being married doesn't make uh, your spouse's trade lines your responsibility, unless you're a co-signer on that loan or on that line. Another myth is closing a credit card or an installment loan will help my credit score. That's not the truth at all. You're actually ending that relationship with that trade line and now there's nothing to report from them any longer. So if they're no longer reporting, it's no longer part of your payment history. The only time I've ever seen that closing a credit card is helpful is if that credit card had late payments in the recent past and you now have it paid off zero balance, sometimes paying off that credit card can help improve your credit score a little bit. But outside of that, I, I don't see where paying something off improves your credit. I've actually talked with people that say, hey, I'm getting ready to pay off my car. I'm getting ready to you know, uh, pay off this loan and that will help my credit. It actually often, usually doesn't help improve the credit because once it stops reporting, it can actually have a decrease on your credit score. And this might sound silly, but I actually get asked this a lot. If you press credit when you're using your debit card at a POS system, you know, when you're paying for something at checkout, it will not show up on your credit report anywhere. It's just a different way of them processing that transaction, that purchase, because you're not putting in your uh, PIN number for your debit card. Another myth is debt is debt, and that's not actually the truth. When it comes to uh, lines of credit, there's a secured and a non-secured type of credit. Secured means there's collateral. So for a mortgage, that collateral is the house. For an auto loan, uh, the car is your uh, security there. And credit cards are an example of unsecured debt. A personal loan and a student loan is unsecured debt. And it does uh, get categorized a little bit differently on your credit report. It does have a spot for secured debt and non-secured debt. 
And I also want to share my perspective on debt. I think there's good debt and I think there's uh, not so great debt. So good debt are those things that you leverage in order to get something like say a house. Most people can't afford hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash money, but they want to be a homeowner. So I think in that case, a mortgage is a good debt where bad debt, in my opinion, is credit cards because it has us uh, tending to spend more than what we bring in and then you are upside down, you owe somebody and now you're a slave to debt. <laughs> Another myth is that there's only one credit score, and that is so far from the truth. There are literally dozens of scoring models out there, and depending on what you're getting your credit pulled for and also who's looking will give you a different credit score. So uh, for example, if you're looking at your credit through, say, your bank app, it's going to be a very different credit score than when I'm looking at it for, say, a mortgage loan application. It's a different risk model when they're looking at it, and uh, there's all different kinds of algorithms algorithms too. So depending on when you get your credit pulled and who pulls it and for what purpose, but they're typically within that same realm of what you see and what I see. Another myth is a bad credit score stays with you forever, and that is not the truth. You could have a bad credit score right now, and if you do some positive steps in order to restore your credit, you can get out of that bad category for a credit score. So payment history is really important. If you have collections, maybe getting those cleaned up and settled. Um, if it's old enough, like if it's uh, several years old, maybe just let that go away. They will drop off after a certain amount of time. So uh, the, the older it ages, that bad debt, the less effect it has on your credit. So what's really important is that you have something reporting on your behalf now that shows your ability to borrow money and pay it back on time. So it's important to have a nice credit mix. We like for you to have at least one uh, installment loan, which is like a student loan, um, an automobile uh, loan, or a mortgage, um, and then also a credit card. And what's really important on a credit card is to have a high limit, low balance. It could really hurt your credit score if you have what's called an overutilization of credit. So what that means is you're using too much of your credit line that's allotted to you. So of your limit, you want to use 30% or less as a balance of your credit cards. And the last credit myth I'd like to share with you is about collections. Sometimes when you pay a collection, it can erase that collection, but typically it's a collection account that is a one-off from the original creditor. So let me give you an example to uh, what I'm trying to share here. So let's say you had a bank-issued credit card, you had a $500 limit on it, you maxed that out, oh my goodness, now you can't make this payment. You've got late payment fees and uh, you're just not able to remedy it, and so you just kind of like forget about it and let it go away. So let's say that that bank then sold that account to a collection agency. And now you say, you know what? I'm in the place that I can make that go away. I can uh, pay that debt, it's truly mine. And you call that collection agency and you work out a payment that they'll accept. That collection agency can do what's called a pay to delete and they can make their uh, record go away off of your accounts. However, that original uh, credit card that was reporting, that won't go away. It's not erased even when it's paid. It might now start reporting that it's paid, it's settled, uh, it's a closed collection as opposed to uh, how it may have been uh, reported. However, it won't erase that previous payment history and it becoming a collection or even a charge off. You don't have to have a lot of money to have a great credit score. It really is just being a good steward of what's being loaned to you. Being aware of when your due dates are, making sure that you're paying on time, and not over utilizing your credit. And if you'd like to go deeper in the conversation around credit, join me in the podcast world. I have a podcast called Credit Coaching by Christy. I've got short little episodes there, all just around credit. So thank you so much for being here with me. And until next time, my friends, stay well.